We start with Singapore, which will host the World Economic Forum or WEF's annual meeting next May. WEF President Borj Brend praised Singapore as one of the countries with the best handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Participants will have to follow strict public health requirements, including a rigorous testing regimen consisting of pre-departure and on-arrival tests and adhering to strict safe management measures. Moving on to Malaysia, where the country's healthcare system has been overwhelmed by months of increasing active COVID-19 cases. Many patients were left untreated, even as the authorities cap down on testing for close contacts. The positive rate has hovered at over 8% above the World Health Organization's benchmark, which is 5% for effective containment. In response to the pressure, the government is now moving to acquire private healthcare resources. Meanwhile, experts have issued an open letter to Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin calling for more tests. And in Thailand, the government on Tuesday approved around 210 billion bahts of cash stimulus to boost consum consumption and to help lessen the impact of a recent coronavirus spike. With this policy, over 31.1 million people will receive 3,500 baht per month for two months. The government also recorded 171 new COVID cases, raising the accumulated total of COVID cases in Thailand to 12,594, while the death toll stays at 70.